So we came back by Logan Pass and there was some parking, which is a rarity. But we are parked and now we're gonna see if we can go up to the Hidden Lake Trail. We were here with my parents um, that one was closed down so we'll see if it's open um, it might not be Whitney is ready to ready to rock and roll so we got a hike got a hike quick Hidden Lake Trail is open and we are afoot <laughs> hoping to see some some wildlife out here hopefully we can see some mountain goats maybe a grizzly from far off and a nice safe park distance and Megan just saved a caterpillar that was trying to cross the path from getting stepped on so you know she cares about wildlife <laughs> Yeah, it's a it's a good little little uphill here at the beginning. Catching my heavy breathing on camera. It's not very nice. I think we got to the top of the boardwalk. There's quite a few steps, and we were going at pretty quick pace. But uh, I still don't see any lake. But I guess that's why it's called Hidden Lake. So, maybe we'll see it soon. Mountain goat, check. check. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Mountain goat. <laughs> so excited. That was cool. That was awesome. They were a lot bigger than I thought. Yeah. And they had beady red eyes, which was yeah. kind of demonic in a weird way. It's so fuzzy. It's meant to live in this Arctic climate. Definitely. <laughs> of the hidden lake and in the sun. Now we're kind of shady. <laughs> it's bigger than I expected. Yeah. Very beautiful. Cold. Cold? <laughs> you got in the lake? <laughs> no, it's cold up here. Yeah, it's but a little windy. Really great views on the way. Oh, yeah. We like, we're doing a fast pace up that elevation climb. It's about 500 yeah. feet of elevation. But the trail is really well done all the way up. Yeah, a lot of boardwalk. Very and you nice. can actually walk down to the hidden lake. We probably will not do that. We'll take the aerial view and then head back. Yeah. Really cool. cool Another. To see a sheep. Yeah, I saw a mountain goat. A mountain goat. A mountain not goat. A sheep. I don't um, know my animals. We hadn't seen one of those since being here. But some other great trails here in Glacier National Park. Yeah, I'm so glad we came back and did these ones. Right, right. And we've only been here for two days and already seen quite a bit. And you could probably be here for what? 10 days. Long time. Yeah, such great trails. And like we tell everyone, you know, you gotta get out here. Words and even video don't do it justice. No, the pictures and video that we can put on YouTube, it can capture a little bit, maybe get you out here, but you gotta see it in person.
Do you feel stiff like an old lady? <laughs> yes. <laughs> My joints don't want to bend very well. There's no joint movement here. <laughs> so we got out of the park late last night and we went ahead and stopped. Um, just outside the park is Crazy Horse Dam and National Forest and they have a lot of free camping. So behind me is Crazy Horse Reservoir. It is huge and so the dam creates the reservoir and then there's camping all throughout here. Great National Forest and me and Megan actually camped here in our previous video in season one where we did our Prius car camping. So that's the same place and we camped um, a little further in and we actually got our inflatable kayak out and went across this to an island. Um, so if you haven't checked out that video, I'll link it up here. Make sure to check that out. But this is so great. This is just down from our campsite. What a beautiful view. There's tons of people camping out here. Every little turnout, people are camping. There's camper vans. There's big rigs like fifth wheels and class A motorhomes. And throughout this national forest, they actually do have designated campgrounds where you can pay like 10 bucks and they have some hookups there. So they have those scattered throughout. They have free camping scattered throughout. Um, just a really great place and what's also awesome is that good ways into the National Forest is actually paved road So that's a rarity um, So it's it's not too challenging for some of those bigger rigs eventually it does go to gravel um, We've never went all the way in um, it is a huge National Forest, but one of our favorites We're maybe like 20 minutes from Glacier um, the west entrance and so it's a great place to free camp and then hop on into um, Glacier National Park and see the amazing stuff that we saw yesterday and in our previous Glacier National Park videos. If you haven't checked that out, make sure to look back at our part one, part two. We pulled off on one of these pullouts that had a little fire ring and camped for the night. So we set up the rooftop tent as you see behind me and our friend Sarah set up her tent and we had a great night. It was too dark to film. Um, but we cooked some dinner over the fire, had some s'mores, the typical camp stuff. And now it is the morning, and we're going to look at getting some breakfast going. Not sure what we're going to do today, but um, it was really great just to get to do some camping. And then Glacier yesterday was amazing. And so we might go back into the park. We might stay here and explore. Um, might go home. Not sure. But first, we got to get some food, so let's start some breakfast. As usual, scrambled eggs. I think that's all I know how to cook for breakfast, as you guys see on our YouTube channel. Don't mind me. Just, just Don't film. trip over my backpack. Just filming this moment. We are all packed up, have some food in our bellies, and what we're going to do is actually going to go into Whitefish and Big Fork, which is two little towns here, and check those out. We hear they're really great, cute. Um, and see what they have to do there and maybe grab some lunch and then call it a weekend. And so I'm um, excited to do that. It was, was another great weekend out at Glacier National Park. And we only have a few more left because I have signed on to a contract in a different state. And so we only have about three more weeks and then we head off within Big Betty to that state. And so that is a surprise we'll be telling you later but it'll be pretty cool. Season two of YouTube is gonna be a good time. So stay tuned. So we are here in Whitefish, Montana, a little ski resort town, and it is the cutest. <laughs> we are here on a Sunday. It seems like every time we go visit a town, we're always here on a Sunday where everything's closed, um, but they have a lot of great looking little shops here. Um, you could just park and walk the main strip over and over. Get your cardio in. <laughs> so we're here in the uh, Montana Coffee Traders uh, coffee shop. Megan and Sarah might get their second cup of coffee today. It's a good day. <laughs> um, but this is here in Whitefish and they have a cute little store oh, with the coffee shop. Um, a lot of cool little, uh, little Montana and Whitefish ditties like this cool looking glacier sticker that we're going to get for our Yeti cooler. And um, just a lot of cool little trinkets. This is a really cute town. Yeah. I love it. This would be a really great place to go in the summer. And the Whitefish Ski Resort actually has mountain biking that you can do. So you could stay at one of the ski resorts and do some mountain biking. This would be a great place, of course, in the winter when there's snow here. So you can do some skiing, snowboarding, and then walk the town. Um, just a really great place. Yeah. It's so cute. <laughs> So 
So now we are at the town of Big Fork, Montana. It's right off Flathead Lake. Another little cute boutique town. <laughs> this one is a little less busy, less stores. It's a little smaller. I think the main feature is probably the water. Right, going out on Flathead Lake. And if you didn't catch our video, we actually rented a pontoon and went out on Flathead Lake with my family. So go back and check that out on our YouTube channel. Hey, look at this, guys. A big fork. And big fork. Get it? The restaurant just behind the big fork, called Sakatumi, is recommended by one of the locals as the best sushi he's ever had. We were gonna eat there, but it's closed all day on Sundays. So don't come on Sunday for sushi. Just come on a Tuesday. Well, this is what I expected to be on. We are at the Flathead Lake Brewing Company. Pretty close, I wouldn't say right on the water, but you can see the water clearly on Flathead Lake. And uh, I think they have burgers here, which is why I'm here. <laughs> I am starving. Oh so we'll get some, some brews and some burgers. Um, so far, I am loving the outdoor seating. <laughs> what do you think? Uh, yeah, it's pretty great. This is there what I you, expect to be have it. all over the lake, and there really isn't. You've got this spot. You've got a place you can dock right outside of Big Fork and you can walk into Big Fork, that's not a long walk. And then you've got that restaurant we went to with your family. The Harbor Grill. And those are the only like places Main I know. Main ones close. Polson? Polson maybe? Maybe. Polson might have a couple places to dock. Yeah. Megan and Sarah are getting some famous Flathead Lake sweet cherries. Got a $5 bag of cherries. <laughs> <laughs> There's kind of like a lot now that it I think does. about it. But their Montana cherries are known for being amazing. So they're local, <laughs> we think. We hope. They're called Sweet Reds. So. The brewery food was delicious. I had the Western Barbecue Burger, which I'm always a sucker for a Western Barbecue Burger. And they made it perfect. Um, Megan really liked her meal and Sarah really liked her, her food. I mean, just really yummy food. The beer was great. Um, and now we're going to head back to our home uh, in Plains, Montana, and that is our weekend adventure. And so if you really liked um, our glacier adventure, if you really liked our channel and the content we're creating, please hit that like button down below. And if you don't already, subscribe so you don't miss another video from us. We really appreciate that. And if you saw anything that you thought was cool or any suggestions, uh, feel free to comment below. We love reading the comments and interacting with our subscribers. Other than that, until next time, see ya. Feel alright for the first time